What happens when a once dominant rugby team becomes the laughing stock of social media? The Stormers, just two years removed from their URC championship, are under fire after their tactics against Toulon in the Champions Cup left fans fuming. But is the backlash justified or are critics ignoring the bigger picture? Let's dive into the controversy that's putting John Dobson's team under the microscope and sparking a debate that's far from over. The Stormers faced a barrage of criticism after their 24-14 loss to Toulon in the Investec Champions Cup. It wasn't just the defeat that upset fans, it was the how. Dubbed brainless and unserious by frustrated supporters, the team's tactical choices have become a hot topic in the rugby world. Under coach John Dobson, the Stormers have struggled this season, winning only two of their seven games. But the clash against Toulon at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium highlighted a deeper issue. Despite the French team conceding 14 penalties and giving the Stormers plenty of chances, the Capitonians squandered those opportunities with questionable decisions and ineffective kicking strategies. The Stormers kicked the ball 30 times during the game, fewer than Toulon's 38, but it was the manner of their kicks that drew ire. Fans were especially critical of the low kicks and grubbers, which often failed to retain possession. Of the 30 kicks, only eight led to retained possession, with five being recovered by a Stormers player and the others forcing errors. Springbok stars Warwick Gallant and Maney Libok bore the brunt of the backlash. Gallant led the team's kicking stats with 10, while Libok followed with seven, including an ill-advised offload behind his own try line that nearly gifted Toulon a try. Social media exploded with criticism. YouTuber Rian Lau even posted a compilation video of the Stormers' errors set to a goofy movie soundtrack, sarcastically captioned Goof Troop. Fans quickly joined in, sharing their disbelief at what they had witnessed. The Stormers' performance drew a mix of frustration and sarcasm from fans across platforms. These lads brainless or just forgotten how to play sensible rugby? One fan questioned. AP Cronji added, Stormers have been unbelievably unlucky with injuries, but if you're playing without some of your key individuals and you make a conscious decision to play deeply on serious rugby, then you're also not helping yourself. A Linster supporter simply mocked, URC Champions 2022. Another sarcastically asked, is this a pro rugby team? The harshest critiques painted the Stormers as a team that's lost its edge, with some fans even saying, this is not a serious rugby team anymore. Injuries have undoubtedly played a role in the Stormers' struggles. Missing key players like Franz Malherber, Steven Kitschhoff, and Damian Willemser, the team has been forced to experiment, often with poor results. But fans aren't buying injuries as an excuse for what many see as reckless and poorly thought out tactics. Dobson himself admitted after the match, we're running out of cattle. The fight was there, but we're not capitalizing on opportunities and it's a sore changing room right now. So where do you stand? Are the Stormers' struggles simply a product of bad luck and injuries, or is this a deeper issue of poor coaching and decision-making? And after this performance, can they even turn their season around? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Green and Gold Army News.